Okay, so you might notice in 2025, if you're still running Windows 7, then you might not be able to use Windows Update. This is especially true if you've just reinstalled Windows 7 and you go to Windows Update and you get this error message code 8072EFE. Now, this is because Microsoft have pulled things off of the update server, which means that you can't start off the updates. Now, it's true to say in 2025, really, you shouldn't be running Windows 7 still. Update was withdrawn in 2020. So it's been a good five and a half years as I'm recording this video that there has been no security updates there for it. So if you are running Windows 7 and you can possibly, then I would say get a new computer running Windows 11. You're far, far safer. But obviously, if you are going to run Windows 7, you want to try and make your computer as safe as possible. And at the very least, get all of the updates up until until January 2020 when support was pulled by Microsoft. Now, a little while ago, I did do a video which showed you legacy update, which automates this process. This video is going to show you the manual way of doing it. Legacy update, like I say, does automate the process. And I've got a link to that video in the description down below. Hopefully there should be a link to it on screen now. So if you're the type of person that really struggles to follow a lot of instructions, then perhaps go and see legacy update see that video there that'll automate things but I'm doing this video because quite a few people have said that they were very wary of legacy update weren't sure exactly what it was doing and really didn't like to risk using a third party app. So if you're that type of person, then this video is for you. If you're the type of person which wants to get it done simply and easy, then go and see my video on legacy update. Like I say, there is a, a, a shortcut to it in the description down below. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, the Internet Explorer that comes with Windows 7 is just simply no good. It just doesn't work with hardly any websites, even MSN now you get this cannot display the web page. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to download another browser to get us going. And that browser is called Super Memum, which is an adapted version of Google Chrome. So let's just open up Internet Explorer. Thankfully, there are a few websites we can get to. So let's click in the address bar right at the top of the screen and let's type in there win32 subsystem dot live all in lowercase and no spaces pause this video if you need to make a note of this once you've done that press enter or return on your keyboard you should then see this screen here now click on under win32's projects super Meum web browser left click once on that and then you want to click on you know, quite possibly the 64-bit setup. Now, if that doesn't work, then try the 32-bit setup. So let's click on 64-bit. It will then take you to a download. So click on Save. And then it'll ask you where do you want to save it. Well, good place is the Downloads folder if you've got one or the desktop. I'm going to save mine in the Downloads folder. So click on Downloads on the left and then click on Save. Let it download. It might take a little bit of time. Just be patient with it. And then once it's finished downloading, just click on Run. And then if you get this screen here, click on yes. Click on yes again, where it says, do you want to install Super Memum? And then I'm just going to tick there, create shortcuts for Super Memum. And then I'm going to click on OK. If I want to, if I've got more than one user on this computer, then I can click on install for all users. But if you've just got the one user, then just keep install for current user selected, then click OK. And there you go. It says Super Memum has successfully completed. So click on OK. And let's just close this Internet Explorer a window down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner and then we should see super meme on our desktop double click on that now if you're running this for the first time it's up to you whether you sign into your google account or not but i'm just going to click don't sign in and it's up to you whether you set this as your default browser it's entirely up to you i'm just going to skip that for the moment once it's opened let's click on the little middle maximize button there to open this out and then we want to type something into the address bar at the top of the screen now we want to go to microsoft's official update site so let's just type in there https colon forward slash forward slash catalog dot 
update.microsoft.com. So that's https colon forward slash forward slash catalog.update.microsoft.com. Pause this video if you need to make a note of it. Once you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard. And first of all, if you haven't done so already, you need to install Service Pack 1. Now, the easiest way to check out whether you've got Service Pack 1 or not is to click on the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, click on Control Panel, and then if you've got this menu here, go down to System, and then you should see there under the Copyright Service Pack 1. If when you go into Control Panel, you've got this type of layout, then click on just to the right of view by click on category and select large icons and then scroll down and you should see system just there and that will tell you whether or not you've got service pack one now if you haven't got service pack one there then let's just close this down and where it's got there start your search click into there and you want to type kb976932 then click on search and here you've got service pack one now it's going to be either Service Pack 1 for X64 based systems if you're running a 64 based Windows 7, and you probably are. So if you had to download the 32 bit version of Super Mium to get this working, then you're probably running a 32 bit version of Windows. Again, if you want to check to see what version you're running, click on Start, click on the control panel, and click on System just there and it should tell you there next to system type. There you go, as you can see, mine is 64-bit operating system. So I'm gonna click on X64 as I'm running a 64-bit operating system. So I'm just gonna click on the download just to the right of it there. And then I'm just gonna click this second link here, the one that's got KB976932 in it. Left click once on that, and then that should start downloading. Let's just close that by clicking on the close button. And just up here, we can see there how long it's got left to run. And as you can see, that's pretty quick. Once it's finished running, then all we do is we just click on that up there and then we just click run. And then if we see a flashing shield at the bottom of our screen in our taskbar, click on that and then click yes. And then just click next and just follow any instructions on the screen. Once that's installed, then all we do is we just restart the computer. As you can see, mine says it's already installed, so I don't need to install it. So once we've restarted the computer, after that's installed, if, if it needs installing, if it doesn't need installing, then uh, don't worry about it, just uh, just carry on. But I've just, say I've just restarted my computer, I go back into Super Memum and I type in there again, catalog and hopefully as I type catalog it should come up catalog.update.microsoft.com so when you see that come up just press enter or return on your keyboard and there you go you're back to that page there and the next thing we want to do is we want to install the servicing stack update so we need to click in the search box again just over there and we need to type kb4490628 and then click on search. And there we need to find KB4490628 with Windows 7 on it and X64. So there it is just there, second from bottom. So move your mouse over the download just to the right of that, left click once, and then again, move your mouse over that KB4490628 X64. Left click on that, click on close just over there and then click on the arrow pointing down and we wanna click on that there where it says KB4490628 and then click yes and just let this install. This could take a little while, just be patient with it. There you go, mine's actually installed. So let's click on close. Let's close this down by clicking on the cross here. This is very important, even though it didn't say about restarting, we wanna restart the computer. After every single update, we do need to restart. So click on the start button, and then just click on the little arrow pointing to the right, to the right of shutdown, and actually click the word restart. Let the computer restart, and then once it's restarted, we're gonna go on to the next update. 
So once your computer's restarted, then just go into Super Memum again, double click on that, and then click into the address bar at the top again, and then start to type catalog, and hopefully catalog.update.microsoft.com should appear. If it doesn't, then type it all in, then press enter or return on your keyboard. And then we wanna click in the search box over here, and this time we're gonna install KB447419, and then click on search, and then again, we are looking for one that's got KB4474419. And if we've got a 64-bit based version of Windows, we're looking for X64. If we've got a 32-bit version, then we're looking for X86. So there's my 64-bit version. So move your mouse along to the right, left click on download. And then again, move your mouse over the 4474419V3 and left click once on that and that should download. You can click on the close box there and then click on the arrow pointing down just over there on the right and then click on KB4474419, left click once and then there you go, searching for updates on this computer. Once you see this, click on yes and it should then start to install. Now this enables SHA2 sign in, which is required to get more updates. So again, this bit could take a few seconds. The bar might go up, it might stop like mine has. Just leave it, don't be tempted to shut the computer down. And there you go, it's nearly done. And they go done. So now it tells us to restart. So move your mouse over, restart now, left click once, let the computer restart again. This bit might take a few seconds. Okay, so it's now restarted. So we wanna go into Super Memum again. And then once we're in there, click in the top and then just type in there again, catalog.update.microsoft.com. Press enter or return on your keyboard. Click on the search box just over there and we need to download another servicing stack update that is KB4536954 and then click search and then again if we've got a 64-bit based system we are looking for Windows 7 and the one with X64 beside it if you've got 32-bit system you're looking for X86 so move your mouse one there and then click download and then click on KB4536952 and then we can close this here by clicking close click on the arrow pointing down just over there and then left click once on KB4536952 and then click on yes and again that's now going to install this could take a few minutes there we go once you see installation complete click on close close down super memum and then once again we want to click on the start button click on the arrow to the right of shutdown click on restart let the computer restart again so once the computer is restarted, double click on Super Memum again and type in the bar at the top catalog catalog.update.microsoft.com, then press enter or return. Click in the little search box and we want to install the monthly security roll up here and we want to type in there KB4534310 and then click search and then again if we've got a 64-bit system then we're looking for Windows 7 with x64 in it if we've got 32-bit we're looking for Windows 7 with x86 so there you go there's my x64 there I'm going to move a mouse over to the download click on download now and then I'm going to look for KB4534310 left click once on that and that's now going to download. Now this is quite a big download, so it may take some time. So I'm going to click on close and I'm going to click on the little download icon just up there. And there we go, mine has downloaded. So now we are looking for KB4534310. Once you see that, left click once on it. And then once you see this, click on yes and let that install. Now this is quite a big update, so it could take a good few minutes, a lot longer than the other updates, so just be patient with it. Okay, and once that's finished, just click on restart now. And there we go, now we've restarted. It's telling us that our PC's out of support and that support ended as of the 14th of January, 2020. So I'm just gonna click remind me later. And then I'm gonna click on the little start button just down there, click on control panel, and then scroll down to Windows Update. If you don't see Windows Update down there, you've got something like this. 
then what you can do is you can click on category, click on large icons and then scroll down, click on Windows update. And then if you see this updates are not being installed automatically, then you can click on turn on automatic updates and that should now check for any updates and install them for Windows 7. Again, this bit might take a bit of time. It might hang on checking for updates for a little while. Just leave it and come back to it a little bit later. And there we go. It says there's 70 important updates. So if I click on install updates, should inst start installing. I'm just going to accept the license terms for the Windows malicious software removal tool and then click finish. And there we go. The updates are now downloading. OK, so it took a little while to download about 20, 30 minutes, but now it's installing the updates. OK, so as you can see there, there you go. The updates were successfully installed. So we just got to hit restart now. Let the computer restart. And then once it's restarted, it might be just as well to click on the start button again, click on control panel and then find Windows update. Click on that and just go through again and just see if there's any more updates. As you can see, there's already one there. So click install updates and there you go. It's installed, but perhaps keep repeating that a few times just to see if there's any more updates. So click on start, click on control panel, click on Windows update and then perhaps click check for updates just over there on the left just to see if there are any more updates. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.